we introduced matrices as rectangular tables of numbers. Of course, we have also special matrices. For instance, the zero matrix. The zero matrix has only zero entries. So, the entries of the matrix, yeah, we, we can also denote the matrix like this. So, the the element in row i, column j, is zero. So all elements are zero. Another type of special matrix, which is quite dominant in all kind of um, theory that we're going to build, are the square matrices. Well, these are matrices with exactly as many rows as columns. So. It's a matrix with dimension n times n. Yeah, for example, consider the following 3 by 3 matrix built up from generic elements a, i, j. Yeah, then this is a square matrix. And we, the elements of type AII together form the main diagonal of the matrix. So special square matrices are diagonal matrices. And diagonal matrices have the property that outside the main diagonal there are only zeros. So if you Look at the following matrix D with the main diagonal 8, 9, and 0, and outside the main diagonal there are only zeros. So, an alternative formulation is that D consists of elements Dij, for which it holds that Dij is 0 when i is not equal j. Well, there's a, one special square matrix of dimension n times n, and it's called the identity matrix. And this is the matrix with all diagonal elements equal to 1. So, for instance, I2 is the matrix with two ones on the main diagonal and two zeros outside. And I3 is the following matrix. I think the general idea should be clear now. Also, a special type of... Uh, uh, um, square matrices are the symmetric ones. And the symmetric matrix has the property that the element in a j i equals a i j for all i j. So this means, for instance, that the element on row 2, column 3, it has the same value as the element in column in, in, in row three, column two. Yeah. So, for instance, look at the following example. We have here row two, column three. There's a four, and it equals row three, column two. So this is a symmetric matrix. Square matrices are, are called upper triangular if only if we consider the right upper left of the uh, 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 right upper right of the matrix, then all entries may be non-zero but below the main diagonal 
there can be only zeros. So this means that if the row number is higher than the column number, then there should be a zero. Similarly, a square matrix is called lower triangular if all entries above the main diagonal are zero. So think of the right condition here, the right condition here is that all entries above the main diagonal are zero, which means that if the column number is higher than the row number, then they should result in a zero element. So consider the following examples. We have a matrix. The first row is 1, 2, 3. The second row is 0, 4, 5. And the third row is 0, 0, 6. Then it's upper triangular because the lower part, the part below the main diagonal 1, 4, 6, is 0. And consider the matrix 1, 2, 3 as a diagonal. 4, 5, 6 in the lower part, and, and we see that the upper part are zeros. Above the diagonal 1, 2, 3, they are zeros, so this matrix is lower triangular. Special matrices in itself are matrices, for instance, with one column, which actually we already know as vectors. Yeah, so a vector x with three components, x11, x21, x31, is a special matrix, a 3 times 1 matrix. And usually we leave out, when we have only one column, we leave out the column number, so that we can easily write x1, x2, x3. Well, similarly, you can write matrices with one row as row vectors. So, a row vector W is written as W1, W2, W3 which is a 1 times 3 matrix. The term transpose of a matrix, well, this is an operation on a matrix. So we may construct a matrix B out of a matrix A by swapping the rows and columns, respectively. So we create a matrix B, and the ijth element, element is just AJI. So AT is constructed out of A by interchanging rows and columns. So, for example, take a matrix 1, 2 with rows 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6. Then it's tra transposed. The first column will be the first row. So 1, 3, 5 will be the row 1, 3, 5. And the second column 2, 4, 6 will be the second row in a new matrix 2, 4, 6. So we see that if A has dimensions M times N, is an M times N matrix, then the transpose AT has dimensions N times M. A 
Another thing is that if we start off with a symmetric matrix A, then AT equals A 